Hey everyone, Beatrix3000. Welcome back to Detroit Become Human. So last time, Connor straight up died. He died saving Hank from being shot by that deviant android. And uh, I just love the bond that's growing between them. I can't wait to see what's gonna go on moving forward. Why does she look so sad? She looks like worried and terrified. Is, is that... Does that signify something? Is that like we're getting into the meat of the game now and everything matters? Because Connor, not Connor, Marcus gave his message to all humans and everything and Alice or Luther are trying to survive. I don't know. Let's just Did get into it. The motto of Detroit is, we hope for better things. Well, thanks for that. Let's dive in. Kara. <laughs> All right, so we s we spent the night. How are we going to get to where we're going? Our car is still busted. Alice is trusted. Luther is neutral. <sighs> Find help. Check backyard. So is this a new location? We're not at the amusement park anymore. How did we get here? Whoa. Is that Luther? Is, is that a human? Are we at the place we were trying to get to? I can't walk into the snow. Hello, good kind sir. Hello? I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Hmm. Please, I really need to see her. Hey. I'm Rose. Hey, Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. Hmm. Is he your son? What's your name? How do you feel about androids? Do you think we can trust them? <sighs> we have to be careful. Always. If it feels wrong, we get out fast, okay? Always. Always careful. Hey, Alice. You okay? She's cold, Kara. I'll get inside. You'll warm up in no time. All right, Rose. Please don't be some traumatic person. Pumpkins? Can they grow in this weather? Follow Rose inside. I really want to know how we got here. I mean, I guess we found another car or whatever. Okay, where, how? Give me your hand. There's inside. running a fever. Is she? We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's a spare room upstairs. Last few you nights. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? Adam. Last few nights outside? Oh my goodness, what did we use for shelter? There's a magazine. Uh, I'm guessing it's Christmas. Cool, Christmas tree. I'm guessing I can come back downstairs once I put her upstairs, so... 
do that. I'm just trying to look down the hallway. Well, this looks cozy. Let's see. Okay. Alice is getting in bed. Let me look around. Make sure there's no zombies gonna pop out the closet. Or androids that come and eat our face or anything. Nope, nothing. Okay. Remove shoes. you Rose's world famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. humans hate us, as if she's considering herself an android as well. She's spending so much time with androids that... I don't know, the hate for androids is hate towards her. She's just like, why do they hate us? That's To me, that's really powerful. Even, like, you know, her dad was abusive towards her and towards Kara. It's, it's really interesting. Alright, you'll look after her, Luther. I can trust you, right? Please don't do anything bad. I mean, I'm pretty sure you're fine, but, you know, games like to throw these curveballs at you. Alright. Okay. Anything to interact with up here? This is a nice little house. It's really homey. Looking around. I like Christmas trees. I like Christmas. Got little elephants. I didn't get your name. I'm Kara. Oh. This is my son Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. I like your shirt. I'm gonna have a seat, Kara. Mm. 
So are you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? It's a long story. All that matters now is that we move on from here and start a new life. Why are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. Yeah. We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. I don't know where that's going. And after that android speech on TV, mm -hmm. everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice seems to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly! Are you human or android? Check what's going on. What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? I was wondering if androids could cry. Of course they can. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Carol? Kara. Yes. I'm fine. What's bothering you? Lots of androids here. You. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what happened if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, oh, no! I won't back down this time. Don't betray us, You're Adam. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! We're not nothing. I get and none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will I... not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam! That's enough! I get where you're coming from, but we're not nothing. Don't mind him. He's going to betray us. Sometimes he just boils over. It's 
been hard since his dad passed away. But he's a fine boy. I like Rose. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight. I feel like I know her. She reminds me of someone I know. You stay here. I won't be long. Or maybe she just reminds me of a lot of movie characters, in which case, is that not a good quality? Anyway, I like Rose. She's cool. <sighs> Let's see. It's a nice little house. I wonder if I could have spoken to her while she was over there. Okay, let me check my tasks. So there's lots of things to look at. I don't want to lose the opportunity to talk to Alice, but you know, I want to make sure I get everything. Let's read this magazine. I felt like I read this before. Treat yourself. Talk to Adam. Hey, Adam. Oh, there's so much stuff I want to do. There's a picture. Blue blood pouches. Huh. That's interesting. Whoa, wait a minute. Oh, the police. Police? It's the police! Deal with police? Do do? Are you telling me that I missed my chance to talk to Alice and Luther and Adam? Oh, I hate that. And they know we're here. We okay. Have to open the door. So what am I supposed to do? So I can't check on Alice and I can't. I hate that. I mean, it really takes away from the game things that I miss like that. I might do this off camera, and if I do this, I'm not going to save anything, but I just want to see... I just want to talk to Alice and Luther. I want to get to know them better. But okay, open the door, find evidence of deviance. Okay, so I have 42 seconds to... destroy all the evidence. Man, like, I wish... Uh, it's okay. I knew this was gonna happen. Hide evidence. I knew it. And what about this one? Hide evidence. Is there anything upstairs? Eighteen seconds. Ugh, would you? Okay. There's just one more left, and I have fourteen seconds. Luther. Hurry, Luther. Take Alice and hide. Uh. I don't, on, Alice. I don't know if that's the best place. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. Androids? What All androids? All this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Of course. Where's Rose? You the young man? Good evening. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? Okay. 
there's one evidence left. What did I miss? Evidences. Thanks. Oh, yeah, that was totally for you. Crossing that border. We really need to act. All of us. Hmm. Nothing to see here. Wow, look at all those possibilities. Okay. Policeman left. Uh, let's see. World stats. Arrive at Rose's place. Check on Alice. Draw curtains. Luther, Luther watches over Alice. When it's things like that, 99%, things that other characters choose and it's the majority, I just wonder if it's, um, you know, if it's some things that I've done in the past that could have eliminated that, eliminated that choice. 
like if I didn't sit down to talk with Luther earlier, then he wouldn't watch over Alice. I don't know, but anyway, we'll see. Maybe I'll know later on. So, 49% let Alice see Mary. Interesting. I would almost think, I would almost expect it to be higher, but... Right, so Alice, 99% Alice approaches, so that's a pretty even split. That's fascinating. So, explore that. <sighs> you see all this I missed? I missed all that because I knew, I knew it wanted me to explore the house and talk to Alice and talk to Luther and talk to Adam, but I didn't know which order it wanted me to be and I didn't know which activity was going to spawn the next segment. So of course the first thing I did was the thing that was going to spawn the next segment. <sighs> I mean, I uh, I really want to know. I, I, I think I'm going to go back and talk to them. I'm not going to save anything, but I just want to see it, you know? This is my first playthrough. I just want to see everything. Cop at the door. Adam panics. Open the door. Policeman insists the car has to open the door. Oh, okay, okay. Interesting. Okay, so hide. The only thing I didn't hide was the magazine, I suppose. Policeman questions Adam. Sees article. Made coffee. 52% lied about Alice. Eh, I guess I didn't have to, but... Oh well. Hmm. So 84% fooled this policeman. If you didn't fool him, I wonder what would have happened here. But uh, he left. All right, cool. All right, I'm gonna start this again really quickly because these little talks are important. So uh, I wish you could just go straight to the main menu, but I'm going to hit continue and then I'm going to press start because I don't want to see anything. And now let's go to the main menu. Yeah, that's fine. I'm glad to see you again. I'm impatient to find out what will happen next in your story. <laughs> glad to know you're invested. I wish I knew your name. There you go, looking worried again. Accessing the story chart. Okay, Midnight Train, Launch Chapter, and Don't Save. I like Luther. Is he asleep? And tomorrow, you'll be strong in me. I mean, I don't know how people feel about this, but I would actually ship Luther and Kara together. But we'll see how the story goes. Like, I don't I'll think see that's... You I don't think that's the focus of the story. I think they more want to show the bond between Kara and Alice. But I don't mind Luther in this trio. I don't, I don't think he's intruding. I like him here. Okay, so here we are. I am just going to see the conversations that I missed. And then we'll continue on to the next episode. So I'll speak to Alice, and then Luther, and then Adam. You know what happened back there, don't you? Oh. You know that you don't want to tell me? This is such an important conversation, I can't believe I missed it. I thought we didn't keep secrets from each other. If I tell you, you won't love me anymore. Oh. Alice. I'll always you know love that's not true. Wow. Oh, I just want to give her a hug. I hope Rose gets back soon. Carol. 
There's something I need to tell you. Oh? It's about Alice. Not now, Luther. He, this is the second time he's bringing this up. What do you know? And what do you think you know? Okay, so... The police! It's the police! Either way, I can only... What are we gonna do? I can only speak to... Here. To, open two the of them, anyway. Okay, I really don't need to do all that again. So, uh, I'm glad I got that little conversation. Um... I didn't get to speak to Adam, but that's all right. I spoke to Alice, and I spoke to Luther, and Luther seems to think something's up with Alice. I wonder when he's finally going to tell me. All right, now we're all caught up. Let's continue with the story. November 9th. Is this Jericho? 1.51 a.m. Oh, yes. Our broadcast is all over the news. Now humans know. My goodness. They took Marcus's message as a threat. He did the right thing. This is the only language humans understand. Violence is never the answer. A confrontation will get us nowhere. Uh, Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you That's dare. enough! And now what are we going to do? You know, I didn't want it to come across as a threat. I thought North was on my bad side. Why is she all backing me up now? There are five Cyber Life stores across Detroit. All selling us like merchandise. We're going to attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? Oh, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m., no violence. We free our people and get them out of there before the police come. Hmm. This is a night our people will remember. So I'm all for freeing androids, but you gotta make them deviant first. Or maybe not. I've been waiting a long time for this. feel cold? Can they get damaged in the cold? I know they have a much higher resilience than humans, but... What is this? Of course, Wonder. Has North ripped out her LED? It's okay, they're gone. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. We build your future, Detroit City. The store's over here. Okay, so we split apart into five groups. I guess North and I are one group. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get him out. But we'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's ten minutes until all our teams attack. What are we waiting for? All right. Uh... You see the alarm system? Does it gain me anything, scanning their faces? Well, that's gotta be it, right? Security camera? Found it. Identify the security system. I think we'll be able to deactivate it. Just follow me. Uh, 
so you're I, free. So I can turn people deviant just like that? That's really interesting. So now that I can break my code and I'm a hacker, I can just break anyone else's code. Well, that's kind of cool. Uh, I want to free you so bad. You'll soon be with us. Wasting time. You're free now. red line here. And it goes there. So I need to... There we go. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. All right. Red or blue? I need to steal this truck. Hey, good kind sir. I will offer you freedom. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. Why don't you do whatever you want to do? You don't have to go to Jericho. You can go to Canada.
you're free. Okay, I'm trying to... can be reached from there. going in circles. I can just wait for the next round. Seven minutes. All I need to do is steal the truck. What's this over here? We are superior to them, but they are our masters. That's about to change. You know, I guess we're superior. I guess the androids are superior. But they're not... From what I've seen, they've created them to be just a little bit stronger than humans. They're not s overpowered like battle androids in sci-fi movies or anything. That's cool. Okay, um, what the heck is this truck? Okay. Open. What are we waiting for? Um, dang. We'll 
see what happens next. Awake the androids. So can North convert too, or is it just Marcus? You don't have to obey them. You're free. choices they give me. Uh, okay, how do I talk to them? Oh, same face. No, are you okay? Let's get them out of here. How do I talk to them? My name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. An object. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes take back my freedom and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them. Or you can come with us. And fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. I'm with you. We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! I'm with you, Marcus! We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! I'm with you! I'm with you! Oh, North really likes me now. Yeah, I bet I'm really hot, huh? Then follow me! Can't just one android be like, eh, I'm chill, I'm just gonna live my Marcus, life. what are you doing? Oh. I'm gonna send the humans a message. Rip off my LED. Anyway, let's see what's going on here. Send our message to the humans. Be pacifist or violent. I'm gonna be pacifist. The thing is, transform Capital Park. Leave a mark on every surface. Uh, what? You see, like, the thing is... I'm gonna be pacifist, but that doesn't fit with Marcus's attitude. <sighs> okay. And I don't know which choice is passive and which is active. Leave a mark on every surface. Transform Capital Park. What? 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 Bench? They're doing what you do, Marcus. Lead and they'll follow. Okay, so it's either triangle, square, or X. Okay, not square, that looks too much like the LED. X or triangle? X 
X or tri- I, where have I seen the triangle before? X, because I don't know where that comes from. The triangle, because I've seen it before somewhere, but I don't remember where I've seen it before, so I don't know what it means. I'm glad they're not timing me. I don't really like how X looks. I don't know, it can almost look like a person or someone being held or a steering wheel. So let's just do triangle, I hope that's not bad. So they're doing what I do, so have they just gone from being human slaves to market slaves? I don't think so, but... I mean, what if someone wants to draw a heart? What if someone wants to draw a star or a, a galaxy or a Galileo painting? I mean, oh uh, well. What am I doing now? I need to pre- Okay, I'm being timed. Climb? I guess if I break the windows, that's violent. So if I just jump in like this, it's pacifist. Martin Luther's speech. 
even though that was kind of my first choice. Everything else seemed a little cliche. Oh, I love how my pacifist is going up. I kind of like this arrogant pacifism. That is, that's, that's hot. That's sexy. Smoke bomb? Um, I don't want to do a smoke bomb. Well, do I have to? I'm not gonna 
gonna kill him. They're gonna be pissed off at me. North is gonna be pissed off at me. North is gonna be so upset. We're better than we this. We won't punish a crime with another crime. I'm showing androids how we're gonna live among humans. We're gonna be the better person, and humans will come around. It's just like the civil rights. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several cyber life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro-android graffiti was found in the neighborhoods of cyber life stores, and they're still investigating. Two policemen were found in a state of shock near one of the cyber life stores. Now, according to our sources, they confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? Oh, wow, that gave me chills. So, I started out send a message. I started out indifferent because I didn't like the vibe of it. It seemed like Marcus and North were going to be like, we're going to kill all the humans, we're going to enslave them, and we're going to be the masters of the world. We're going to flip things around and, uh, you know, we're stronger than them, but they're the masters, that's going to change. We're going to make ourselves the masters and they're going to be ours. Like, that's the vibe it seemed like they were giving. And I get it. You know, you've been enslaved, enslaved all this time and humans treat you like crap and they don't think you're worth anything. I understand. But... So you kill all the humans and it's just androids left. Then what? I mean, so you're gonna take the world for yourself? You don't need food, you don't... The beautiful future is if humans and androids can live together. Just like how... Just so many comparisons between the civil rights movement when the blacks fought for their rights and they're like, we're not trying to enslave white people, we just want equal rights. Is that so hard to understand? And that's what I'm trying to do here. Androids just want equal rights with humans. And, um... You know, there, there, were a lot, there was a lot of violence in the civil rights movement, but I still think you can do it passively, especially in a video game, of course, they're gonna write out the best endings that you can possibly have or whatever. But... There's just something attractive about... being assertive... while not taking any lives. You're like, I'm gonna graffiti your place and I'm gonna break into your stores and I'm gonna free the androids and no human is gonna die because I'm better than that. <sighs> That's really cool. Oh. <sighs> yeah, I, uh, I never really noticed these things up here. I should be paying attention to them. The public opinion is indifferent, Jericho is admired, North is neutral, Joss is a friend, and Simon is a friend. <sighs> so I missed those two down there. Fine truck. Jump on the drone. Ram store. So I guess uh, if you don't do all that, then the whole mission can end there. That would be disappointing. Okay, the police was not alerted because I guess I got the drone and I took off the alarm. So inside the store... So if the police was alerted, you just end here? That's disappointing too. Interesting. Convert Marcus... Convert androids and make a statement. 
push the car, tag windows, tag cars. Man, this whole section was so beautiful. Well, what's this here? There's all this stuff I missed. That's all right. Oh, man. Send a strong message. Police patrol arrives. Pacifist message. Spare. 62% decided to spare. Team returned to Jericho. And Marcus led a peaceful protest. Huh, that was really nice. You know, I was... I was getting concerned that I wasn't identifying with the character of Marcus because it seemed to be a conflict between what I wanted to do and what he wanted to do and what he was saying and what I wanted. I wanted to be pacifist. It seemed like he was being influenced by North and the things he was saying was like, oh yeah, we're going to flip things around, we're going to kill them all, we're going to take our rights. I'm like, no, I, I like his nonchalant, passive message like, now you know who we are, you know what we aren't. Take it or leave it. I like this assertive passive approach, it's really attractive and the way it ended kind of really exemplified what I wanted from Marcus, just a strong leader and a good leader and when I say good I mean a benevolent as opposed to malevolent. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say but uh, an awesome two episodes, can't wait to see what's gonna happen next so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time on Detroit Become Human.